Hi, my name is Karen, and welcome to another out of one of my outrageously amazing, insanely enlightening master keys of creation about how to create and attract the joy, well-being, and abundance that you desire, and how to be the unlimited master of creation that you truly are to literally make all your dreams come true, and you'll find tons more self-empowering goodies to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality to attract and create the happiness and the health and wealth and abundance and freedom that you desire at zakyron.com all right so here we go ass backwards now most people live their lives completely ass backwards by trying to control external conditions to create happiness rather than being happy which of course creates happy conditions in other words, they try to control external reality to create a happy internal reality, which is ass backwards. The way to create a happy, abundant external reality, in fact, the only way to create a happy, abundant external reality is to create a happy internal reality. Now, most people have not been taught anything about how to focus their own minds and how to direct their thoughts correctly to create what they want. And of course, most people have not been taught anything about the law of attraction, except for the basic Bible phrase of what you reap, you will sow. But that usually gets translated from an old school religious perspective that if you're bad, you'll get punished by Daddy God, and if you're good, you'll get rewarded if not in this lifetime, in the next, in, in heaven. But that's not how the universe works. God's source is not a judgmental God. The universe is an allowing universe. Source is an allowing universe. This is a universe of attraction, not assertion. And very few people are taught that they, in fact, create their own realities with every single thought that they have. And that if you master how to focus your thoughts upon what you want without thinking about a lack of what you don't want, well, a lack of what you want and, and thinking about what you don't want, well, you'll create a beautiful, loving, joyful, and abundant life for yourself. But not necessarily for anyone else, including your family, because... You can't create for anyone else. And no one can create for you. And since no one can create for you, that means there is no such thing as a victim. And because you can't create for anyone else. Nobody is a victim to you. You're not the bad, evil perpetrator, and they're somehow the victim. There's no such thing as a victim in this or any other universe. And we're all individually responsible. 100%, 1 billion percent responsible for our own minds and creations and our own realities. But instead of all that divine truth, most people believe the complete opposite, that in order to be happy, you must control your environment and try to get rid of things that you don't like so that maybe somehow what will be left will be things that you do like. But unfortunately, that's not how the universe works because it's whatever you get more of whatever you're focused upon. If you focus upon crap, you get more crap. If you focus upon good stuff, you get more good stuff. It's as simple as that. Most people have been taught that they must manipulate and control the conditions and the environment and people around them in order to be happy. In other words, get everybody to act a certain way so that they're acting in pleasing ways so you can be happy. And most people have been taught that action is their only tool for doing that. Most people believe that in in the God of action, so to speak, and if you're not running around 24-7 uh, like a chicken with your head cut off, being busy, 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 you're just lazy and worthless. Most people take action to try to create happy feelings, but are then often disappointed when those supposedly pleasing actions or undesirable and sucky unpleasing actions don't produce the results that they desire and they are then unhappy either 
Other people don't cooperate with their desires to make them happy, or the action that they, that they take is not something that is any fun at all, and so they're unhappy <clears throat> and don't get the pleasing results that they desire. And that's because that's all ass backwards. Because first of all, unhappy action can only produce unhappy results. You can't get a happy result from unhappy actions or unhappy thoughts. And it is impossible to get rid of unwanted things so that you can somehow be happy because you've gotten rid of all the crap that you don't like. You can only create new, fun, joyful, abundant, wanted things. And it is impossible to manipulate other people against their will. You can coerce them or trick them or make deals with them or do vows in front of a whole church full of people to do things and act certain ways, including things in ways that they don't want to do so that you can somehow be happy, but ultimately they will renegotiate Go back on your deal, or they will quote unquote betray you, or abandon you, or at the very least hate you, and then themselves hate themselves for agreeing to this no win win coerced agreement that is really impossible to maintain. So ultimately, no one is happy, and that includes includes agreements like marriage or even the classic monogamy that people agree to because that's supposedly the moral societally agreed upon norm that will somehow make you happy and make all your dreams come true and but often and more often than not fails miserably especially when the underlying relationship agreement is to exclusively love one person over the entire population of the entire universe, which is actually totally impossible. And the agreement is to dedicate your life to pleasing one person, which is again impossible because it is not possible to create for anybody else or to ensure another person's happiness because only that person can, can create their own happiness. And no one can assert joy, goodness, or badness or sadness upon another person. It is not possible to exclusively love only one person because our general, natural, divine nature as source beings is 100% unconditional love for all life, for all beings, which means that our true nature as love beings is to love everyone equally and everything equally and every creature equally. And because we are also creators and we can't help but continually desire better and better improvement of everything, including our relationships, we will always attract more and more lovely people into our lives because no matter how good your relationship is you're always going to desire more and better more and better if it's all wonderful well you're gonna you're gonna just keep desiring more and better of the wonderfulness that you've got if things suck royally well then you're gonna naturally desire improvement of what you got which is gonna and maybe improve your relationship, but at the very least, it's going to attract somebody else that's a shitload better. And each individual person's desires constantly change. And one person's desires may coincide with the other person or other persons, or they may not, or they may coincide in the beginning, but then change and shift as we grow and expand. And those desires may match each other today, but completely diverge tomorrow as we encounter contrast of life and we 
naturally desire more improvement and expansion and growth, etc., etc. So the classic exclusive love and exclusive sexual agreements, uh, typically in monogamous relationships, uh, and uh, of course marriage is shaky at best, uh, especially when those agreements are designed to ensure each other's happiness. Uh, which, of course, again, is impossible because you can't ensure another person's happiness. You can only ensure your own. But making agreement, agreements to ensure happiness is better, is betting, sorry, is betting on a losing race. Uh, sad, sad to say because, again, it's not possible for any person to ensure another person's happiness with their actions or otherwise. And ultimately, it doesn't matter what you do in any relationship because... It's each individual person's own responsibility to please themselves rather than making other people responsible for their happiness and therefore always requiring other people to make their, you know, them their priority in life over themselves to make their dreams and desires a priority over their own, which is all impossible because no one can create, no one can desire for another person, no one can feel for another person, no one can think for another person, no one can create for another person. No one can make another person happy. That's just how it is. Everyone creates their own happiness with their own thoughts. And typically people make themselves happy or sad or the countless other emotional options that we can choose based on how they decide to react to how other people are acting but again that's ass backwards because if your mood is dependent upon how you react to what other people are doing or not doing then your happiness is out of your control and in everybody else's control and always at the mercy you're always at the mercy of other people which is why there are continually wars going on and and smaller wars between two people or more people and 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 of course big wars between countries and gang wars etc because those quote enemies unquote just won't cooperate and act like you want them to act to make you happy so you hate them you judge them you condemn them you fight them and even kill them for it which of course is the classic scenario of divorce and you know where you know you're now hate you know hate the person that you used to love <clears throat> and there would be little or no conflict between people if everyone realized that they're all going about it how you guessed it ass backwards that should be the name of a game show if everyone got their noses out of everyone else's business and just paid attention to the only thing they actually have any control over, which is their own thoughts and therefore their own feelings, there would hardly ever be any disagreements uh, and there would absolutely be no you know, violence and mini wars and big wars whatsoever. But wars on a small scale between friends, lovers, siblings, family, children, etc. continues and big wars continue because people erroneously believe in victimhood and the lie of assertion that other people and other, other things can assert their will upon you against your will. <clears throat> Which is contrary to how the law of attraction works works there is no such thing as assertion because no one can create for anyone else but most people don't believe that they have the power to create what they want and so again the small wars of the roses and business wars and political wars and family wars and sibling wars and religious wars etc continue because people believe that in order for them to be happy, everyone must think and believe the same way as them to take away their insecurities. The only reason anybody tries to convince you to act like you or believe, believe the same way as you is because they're insecure about their 
religion or insecure about themselves in some sort of way. And people believe that they must try to control all of the external conditions around them and all the conditions in the world. And then when they finally have control over all the conditions in the entire world and all the happy, pleasing conditions are all lined up like little dick ducks in a row and all the people are acting like you want them to, now you can finally be happy. All I can say is you're again fighting an unwinnable, massive, infinitely, constantly changing battle. And you're going about it all. How? You guessed it. Ass backwards. So, <clears throat> the way to get headed in a much easier and fun and uh, uh, joyful and abundant uh, direction is to get happy regardless of the million septimajillion conditions and regardless of what anybody else is thinking, saying, or doing and how they believe, etc. and create, instead, create a solid foundation of internal joy within yourself, within your mind, and in your heart. And that solid, found, solid foundation of happiness will create wonderful, prosperous, happy external conditions that match your joyful foundation, but with ease, with minimal action. Zero stress, zero manipulation. And with massive ease and grace. Because you're using the unlimited power of the universe to create. Rather than trying to futilely rely upon the extremely limited control you have with action. And control and manipulation and agreements, etc. The optimal course of action and the optimal mindset to have to create what you want is to get happy first and then you naturally attract happy people and happy situations. It is not, I repeat, not when I get all my ducks in a perfect row and everyone is quacking in the perfect key, then I will finally be happy. It is not, I repeat, not, when I can get everyone to act in pleasing ways, get my lover to act in pleasing ways, and my mother and father and my sister and brother, etc., etc., then I'll finally have the perfect relationships, and I'll finally be happy. Mm, no, sorry. But it is. I repeat, it is. Correct procedure is get happy, then I will attract joyful, fun people and happy, loving, thriving relationships that match my happiness. And the sucky people that are just recalcitrant, resistant, stubborn mules that just refuse to expand and grow and open their fucking minds and open their beautiful hearts, well, you just won't synchronize with them. You just won't see them. You won't hear from them. You'll be in Barcelona while they are in Antarctica. It is not when I get the money and I get the fame and I get the success and the cars and the houses and the freedom and the notoriety then I'll finally be happy. No, yet. It's get happy, then I will attract more happy things such as wealth, abundance, well-being, success, and fun toys, and fun people, and cars, and boats, and houses, etc., etc., that match my joy and happiness. The key is to master how to create with your vibration rather than with your action. Because the universe only understands the language of vibration. It does not understand your loss of head 
chicken running around the barnyard um, non-stop action. Doesn't understand it. Doesn't it, does, it does not understand or care about your words. And you master your vibration by mastering your thinking and caring more about how you feel more than being right to prove your power, to prove how good you are, or how smart you are, how enlightened you are, or by being virtuous to prove your worthiness or to prove your divinity or your purity. And you do that by mastering the art of choosing good feeling thoughts and always looking for and choosing progressively better feeling thoughts. And that is getting your mind forward and your vibration heading in a fun forward direction which feels awesome. Then you feel wonderful all the time and life just gets better and better and better every single day. And now you're finally free because you have released all of humanity from the enslavement that you put them in to act in ways to make you happy. And now you're free. You've finally been released from prison because you no longer have to think, feel, believe, and act in certain ways to make everyone on earth, everyone on earth happy or to make some sort of jealous, insecure God happy, etc. So, get your ass turned in the right direction. And get your face and your mind and your thoughts headed in the right direction. And then you will finally have an absolutely amazing, joyful, loving, and abundant life because you're going to attract wonderful, amazing, fun people, fun things, fun situations, and life will just get better and better and better and more fun and more fun and more fun. And that's how life is supposed to be because you are here on earth for the joy of creation. No other reason. Did you hear that? No other reason. You're here for the joy of creation. You're here for the fun of it. No other reason. You're not here to prove your worth to anybody or prove your worth to God or prove your worth to anything or even prove your worth to yourself. You're here for the fun of it. So start having some fucking fun already. All right. So I hope you enjoyed my, this outrageously amazing, insanely enlightening master key of creation. And I know you did. And because you did, uh, you're going to share with your fl- friends, right? Of course, because you want to bless them with the, these awesome, amazing teachings, don't you? Of course you do, because you are awesome and you're generous and caring and loving. And you want to help everybody else out, too. So, uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and so that you get notifications of my next videos. And, of course, always pop over to zakiron.com. And click on the old video link to get all the newest videos and podcasts and uh, all the amazing coaching and support and guidance and products and things to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality. Uh, Of course, there's also a link on there to help you, a little thing to contact me uh, if you would like to create more financial freedom for yourself. Happy to help you with that as well. My name is Zakyron, and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Thanks again for watching my video or listening to this podcast. And I wish you immense joy and abundance and tons of fun on your magnificent uh, journey of amazing fun. Uh, and remember to keep the your ass going the other way. Don't be ass backwards. Got face forward, thoughts forward, fun forward. Uh, heart forward and have yourself a good old time and of course remember to make life a holiday Woo-hoo!